Look at that. Boom. Right? And they said, all oh, you people come help. We need sandbags. Connie Cro Park Crooked too, uh, the blue one over there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, get it out of your nose. <laughs> Hello, Mapo fans. Look at this pretty day. Let's <laughs> see what today brings. I'm gonna check on my greenhouse. Looks like the zipper is coming unglued here. I'm gonna have to think of something. Look, I got some plants in here that are growing. It's warm enough in here, they should come up. Might have to replant. They should have been up here by now. There's just one little lone one. I don't know if the kitties messed with them or what. They were out of food, so I just fill up these three ice cream buckets. They usually last three days. I think I'll transplant these on Thursday. My friend's coming over to help. And these are the cucumbers barely popping up there. I got another egg out of the chicken pan. It's still warm. She must have just, just laid it. So today is the 40th anniversary of the flood that was in Salt Lake City in 1983. So I want to show you some pictures and this is where I get my quote look for the rose because one of my friends was driving down there to Salt, in Salt Lake City she wanted to go see all this amazing uh, sandbags with the water going down and she was driving down and she was looking looking at all the mud and how horrible and everything and her daughter reached over and lifted her chin up and said mom you're gonna miss the roses and so that's how I get my say my quote from my vlog is look for the rose I'm going to show you some pictures. Let's show you some pictures here. They called the church and they said, Oh, you people come help. We need sandbags. So they all came to help and lined the street with sandbags and just ran it down the middle of State Street in Salt Lake. And of course there was flooding in other towns too, but this one got most, most uh, viewed Salt Lake City with the water going down. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Somebody's riding the boat. They had all these sandbags set up, and it, if everybody hadn't have come and helped, it it would would have flooded all the homes there. But everybody came. They just called all the ward members and said, "Come help. We need sandbags." I don't know if the sandbags were already filled. Probably not. I think you had to go fill them and then put them around around the place. Pretty amazing. 40 years to days. Bureau of Survival. Everybody pulling together and helping. That's how it's done. And it's a lot of fun. Look at them riding in the boat. Yes, that's it. Hey, look at these flowers. They're so pretty and the strawberries are growing. And I think that rabbit is eating them. Cause there was a there were at least five flowers there last night and they're gone the kitties are still in here anyway one of them anyway look kitties playing with that little little weed there Hold on, all three of them. Gotta hold them. I right, put them back. Where's your head? Right there. <laughs> Cute. Well, time to say good night. More is lost by indecision than wrong decision. Think about that one. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Remember to look for that rose, and let's see what tomorrow brings. Thank you, and good night. <sighs> Hello, Mapo fans. Another beautiful, sunshiny day. It's supposed to rain tonight sometime but we'll see what today brings and uh it's just this old old shed i mean the sticky stuff on here is not sticking i gotta the sun's making it not stick but i come in here and water sit on there oh they're coming here to say hi oh be careful little missy they take turns laying eggs i should get two more today and i read somewhere i can put the pineapple core in here so i put in two oranges and the pineapple core so we'll see how that does put that into my flower garden and the rabbits do not like it put these around my flowers that should work we can't have a tree growing back there the vines are fines but not the trees so let's cut cut them down there the trees are gone have them growing in between there. There you go, chick chicks. 
heading to Sister's Day. And um, just a few minutes late, we, we're putting it at uh, 45 minutes earlier than it was supposed to be, so I had to really hustle. Lisa and Judy parked the wrong way. Jane parked the right way. Gotta get your Snoopy shirt on. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Are you parked wrong? Thank you. Oh, we should have worked. Don't know. Thank you. James is similar. Got the kids here. Judy and Jane ordering. We got strawberry days coming up. Look at all them strawberries. Mm. What should we order? Oh, here's your shake. Strawberry shake. Halibut. This is yours. Uh huh. Connie made it. At least has to leave in 10 minutes. So we're barely squeezing it in. Do you want toast? Thank you. Oh, 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 it didn't spill. Whew. Oh, okay. Lose your fry sauce? Do you get it? Let's get you some napkins. Okay, well, Connie doesn't have change. Get change for me. Do you have a five? I don't have. I just got my phone. I got a phone. How much? In my person. Wait, I have a 10, I have a 20. Okay, go get change. I'll just get the change. Yeah, I owe you both five, I know that. Oh, oh. The tickets for Pearson's play? Yeah. With the discount, they're, for, they're still for it right now. Oh, okay, all right. And you get me two of them. And... So we owe you two then. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got Doc Grant. Connie gave us our five dollars back. For the Mermaid movie. I paid you. <laughs> and then we paid Connie. She gave us some. We paid Connie. Connie gave us the five back. Lisa owes two dollars back or whenever. You buy us a treat. And then Judy doesn't owe anything. What? I'm going to add a tax on you. Okay, so that'll probably just be and tax. Connie. Okay. Connie's paying her. You're six dollars back. Okay. You're six back. Because I have paid for it. Al, you're six. Don't let me forget. Okay. Oh, or six. Just give her the ten. <laughs> Yeah. And then she'll owe you two dollars. Yeah, yeah, I'm so done. How much? Yeah. Okay, go get some more change. <laughs> They're gonna have a lot of twenties over there. <laughs> How much do you owe Connie? Six dollars. Six dollars. How much do you owe? You, you're done. You don't owe. You don't owe. You don't owe. We're all squared up. All righty, let's head to Jane's house now. Who's that crooked car there, Judy? <laughs> Connie cro parked crooked too. Uh, the blue one over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kind of gave me a pillow for the cats, and she's got what else you got here? Oh, a box full of stuff. Toys and some per oh. a whole bunch of purses and gloves. All right. and okay, I'll go through them when I get home. And here's Jane's new trampoline. They oh. said we're cherry tree. Where, where to put know, it? Did you know Sheldon did this? It. Yeah, this is nice. You can smell the lilacs. Well, this is a nice so this is Jane's old trampoline. Brad will come and take this apart. And Jane says their garden, the neighbor's garden, is on the garden list to come look at. Oh wow, yeah, no grass, just all fun stuff. Boy, this is heavy. I know. Yeah, how are you gonna do this? There's a bluebird. Blue jay or blue. Look, it's really blue. Oh, it's gone. We are smelling the spearmint. Have you guys... Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Because... Oh my gosh. That's what Adeline told me today. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? See this? Yes. This is spearmint. No, peppermint. Why? Chicken cross the road. Chicken. Chicken. That's a good one. Cross the road, chicken. Okay, so see this? Okay, see we, this? Used to, we used to go down the ditch of water, and that this was on the sides of the ditch. All yeah, I wish. And it on is, the inner tubes, it is yeah. Peppermint. On inner. No. No, peppermint. peppermint. I keep saying it. Peppermint, too. so it smells good right here. So yeah. if you get depressed, get some spearmint and smell it. And it's really Judy. strong right here. Oh, wow, that is so <laughs> get strong. The peppermint. Peppermint. Not spearmint. It's peppermint. He says if you get depressed, get the spearmint. Oh, peppermint. Get the peppermint. peppermint. Oh, you guys, and it reminded me, it hit our faces. Yeah, it hit our faces. <laughs> on inner tubes. The inner tube barely fit into the ditch. We're like, <laughs> okay. yeah. And the t water's not very <laughs> full. We're just barely kicking it down coming. the ditch. <laughs> Eventually. Oh. <laughs> Smells oh, good. You found out about the stem. <gasps> Well, oh. I was thinking, so. oh, yeah. Let's anyway, get it out of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> what, Jay? Don't trip over that. And this smells so good too and our kids made this bench. All oh, finished. That is nice. Yes, yeah, all finished. 
there's 48 Jane, bathroom look at rules. this. This is so awesome. This is really nice. I love nice. the light. Oh, it looks finished. It looks finished. Okay. What's left to do? We're going to move this mirror. Oh, that's not attached. And, and put a big mirror. Oh. And then along here is called a backsplash. Okay, so that's all that's left to do Chris on that. Chris thought he nice. could just go buy it, but you can't. Oh, okay. You have to order. So, so you know, the this mirror is going to so go in. this is called the guest bedroom because there's two Oh, these beds are the here. beds I found her. Oh, the this is nice. Sleeper. Yeah, a lot of sleeping area here. And she got those pictures. So Slade's going to so, finish this room. Yes. I am at, I'm at Rochelle's house. A company sent me this um, lead pool light. We're going to go install it. Well, right, let's open it and see what we got in there. Control it with Controller. your phone. Oh, okay. That's cool. Looks like this is how you mount it. A long cord. I like that. That's the actual light. Okay. So and looks some, like some glue. Some glue. Okay. Let's go do this. It'll be dark in about 20 minutes. Right. Okay, that's pretty bright. We just plugged it in here in the kitchen. Then we're going to go out and install it. Okay. That is bright. Maybe it'll be less under the water. We're going to glue this to the outside. Outside. Right here. And you make sure the pegs are facing out. You don't want to glue the pegs up against the okay. wall. Okay. Then we let it dry an hour. Okay, we're sticking it on there. We'll be back in an hour. By then it'll be good and dark. And we have a plug back there. Getting that plugged in. And then the light goes inside with it, because this is a magnet right here. And you stick the light in there, and it will the magnet will hold it. And then you control the lights with your phone. Okay, see, look how that lights the pool up. You can change its colors. That lights right. the pool look really cool. Use Bluetooth, okay. This is the music that is built into the app. You can, change, you can just and change you the, color. the colors. Orange, red, light blue, purple, or that looks blue. It does. Yellow. Oh, we don't want a yellow pool. <laughs> you, were you recording me saying that? Yes. You need to leave that in there. Okay. Do you like that? Yeah. Now you can do night swims. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, there's your LED light. And if I forget, yeah. I can just turn it off when I'm in the house. Oh, yeah. So instead of having somebody come out yeah. and unlock oh, the I gate, the light. and turn you have to come light. through. And, so Dad, turn, turn the light. Okay. If okay. you have your own music out here going, just turn it on mic and then mm -hmm. boom. Hey, we're approaching the pool at night, but it is lit up. Pretty fun, huh? We got pool lights, trampoline Let lights, and porch yeah. lights. That's it from LED pool lights. <laughs> and they're all they're off with your phone. Sierra wants to show the latest project. This. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Yeah, this is my first idea. Oh, pretty good. Chase is in here watching. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, okay. Sierra work. has a magic trick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got it. This is your card. Uh, that's right. How'd you do that? I'm not telling you. Oh, what a fun day. Time to say our good night. The quote for the day is, Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is a quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Remember, look for that rose, and let's see what tomorrow brings. Thank you, and good night. Every time I look at you, I can't believe you're mine. We will always be together through the end of time. You're